incredible people. How are you? I hope you're very, very well. Well, I have a long time without doing any video in English. And for those who were wondering, here you have it, here you have it. Another video in my particular English. Hope you understand it. Well, I always do my best. Point distance from my point of view. Okay, so the theme of today is very important. I will talk about blind distance. Blind distance are movements or ticks that we do involuntarily. It means that we do, blind people do some ticks or movements, but we don't have a reason, we just do it. Ticks or movements, but we don't have a reason, we just do it. Blindism. The stereotyped behaviors sometimes found in visually impaired toddlers or children. Blindism's behaviors range from body rocking, head swaying, eye rubbing, head banging, spinning to finger flicking. These behaviors are repetitive and serve no specific goals, but can calm or soothe children if they are distressed. Wikipedia. Have you ever wondered why some blind people push their eyes or why some blind people move forward and back, forward and back? Today, I'm going to talk about my own experience and my own blindisms. So, let's start. First, I want you to know that some of those blindisms can be controlled and that sometimes we do it uh, involuntary but sometimes it have a reason for example when I move my hands like this and I give little jumps it means that I am happy that's the way I express that I am happy and about eyes pressing well I used to press my eyes like this since I was baby <laughs> baby baby since I was one or two years old I pressed my eyes and I'm still doing it it's something very difficult to control, but my mom always said, your eyes, so I know I have to stop doing it because it's bad for my eyes. It's not good for your eyes, but it's something very difficult to control. I do it um, sometimes when I am bored, sometimes when I have nothing to do, so I press my eyes, or when I am watching videos, I'm not bored, but I used to do this. And my mom always says, Sierra, on your eyes. <laughs> but I do it also when I have to concentrate a lot. For example, when I am uh, at my studies and I have to concentrate, I do it. I always press my eyes. But if you're blind and you are listening to me, I want you to know that you don't have to do it because it's bad for your eyes. It's difficult to control, yes, it's very difficult. But believe me, I am doing it better. Other blindism is... I don't know why I do this noise, but it's just because I want to do this noise and it's involuntary. Um, sometimes it can be annoying for some people, but um, I try to control it and unfortunately it's not all the time, it's just sometimes and uh, for example I wanted to know that um, people that see also have this like this uh, movements or things that you do um, involuntary for example when you're uh, talking with a friend or with your mom and dad probably you have seen that someone when you are talking with is like this picking their nose or picking their ears Ew. or sometimes like this <laughs> so as you can see everybody has those sticks or movements that you do involuntary and i am talking to you uh, of blind distance things that blind people do i think it's important uh, sometimes it can be difficult to control, yes, but we can control it. For example, it's difficult to control this, but you can control it. Some blind people don't do this because they control it. It's difficult, but if you can, do it. 
So remember, share this video with your best friends or any people that you can think it's important to see it because I think it can be very, very good that those people understand why we do the movements or tics involuntary. So I want you to subscribe and to share this video and to follow my dog Toby in, in his Instagram page and also subscribe to this channel and give a like to this video and follow me in Instagram and in my secondary channel that is in Spanish but it's Siena Increíble. Bye!